how do you use a radio button and in this particular demo if you see it is asking me which is your favorite phone brand so i am going to select let's say i am going to select some brand okay for example i am selecting apple and now i am going to hit on submit so what should happen the moment i hit on submit the selection that i have made should get uploaded and stored somewhere for example here i am storing inside a entity so let me refresh this entity and see if the user selection has come over here or not so here if you see i have selected apple just now and this got updated so how to design such a radio button such a design how do you achieve it i am going to teach in this video so let's get started without making any further delay all right guys so for this first of all let's close everything and i'm going to delete all these options for the moment and let's start from the beginning the very first thing we will do click on this plus sign go to the input section and i need a radio button so just scr scroll down and here you have the radio button so let's drag and drop this okay now once you have this radio button let's do the uh, naming ceremony of this okay let's change the name of this radio button and i am going to say uh, phone brands okay done now you do not have direct options to write okay if you see you do not have direct options to write anywhere in the property so how this has to be used using the list source so for this let me show you it can be done in multiple different ways let me show you the way of, the first way okay i'm going to click on i am going to type equals to and here just scroll down and under the functions right under the functions you would find something called lists okay click on this and once you have it just use the open and close parenthesis and within that whatever options you would like to write for example i would i would like to first write apple then i would like to put a comma and then i would like to write let's say samsung okay and then let's say i would like to write let's say nokia let's say i would like to write put a comma and then double quote and then write what you want so you can continue then how many number of times you would like to write let's say let me write one plus so i have written some four to five and you can continue okay you can continue and this should be done if your list is limited if you if you have a huge list of options then you have to use a drop down if you have a limited number of options to be shown to the user then you go for a radio button pretty simple now let's have a preview of this what we have designed now if you see on the preview window we have got apple samsung nokia oneplus the way we have designed it has appeared okay this is one way of writing a list kind of a container and we are putting our options this is one way the other way is to add an entity you know from an entity entity means what in the yesterday's session i have told entity means a table so here in the ui path data service right i have created a table let's say i have created a table called phone brand names if i click on data right the all the brands names are here let's say i would like to utilize this brand name column in the radio button and whatever is there it should appear in the radio button now to achieve this it is pretty simple just come to the list source click here type of equals to symbol and then this window would appear and on this window i am going to go to the entity section okay scroll up just minimize everything so that we can see it easily uh, so here is the entity so entity means i have imported the entity using this uh, button okay if you are not aware all you have to do click on this click on entity and this window would come and whichever the table contains it just select it and hit on add so once you have added this would appear here so i am going to use the phone brand names table okay this is the table i want to use and in this entity or in this table i want to use a specific column so which column i want again you can click on this area it will show you this window 
click here and I'm going to select the brand name column. So double click on it. Done. Now you see it is going to show whatever details are there in this Nokia, OnePlus, Apple and like that, right? Until So all those things will appear over here. Now look at my screen. What happened? It is coming, it is pulling from entity, from the table it is pulling, okay? Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, Nokia. So everything is appearing from the entity right now. Okay. Now the moment I am going to add a data. For example, let's add some data. Let's add a new data. Okay. So I will say Xiaomi. Okay. I have added one more brand name. Now let's say this brand name has been added. Will it reflect in our new um, this one? So let's do a refresh. Okay, now you can see the radio button got dynamically updated just by doing a refresh of this page. Okay, so these two things you have learned quite well. Now the next thing I want, if user is selecting something, it should go and write to a table in the data service. Okay, so here uh, it should write. So what, what we will do, let's create a simple table here. Let me delete the previous one. Okay. All right. Now let me create a simple entity it means table and I'm going to say selection of brand. The table name is selection of brand. Okay. And I'm going to save it. So once the table is created, let's add some field to it. So let's go to that uh, table. And inside that, let's create a field. I'm going to create only one column. Field means on the columns like you have seen in the Excel. So let's create a column. Um, so I'll say a fab brand. Okay, fab brand I've selected and I'm going to hit on save. Done. So now there is no data. If I go to the data section, there is no data. And only one column I have created called fab, favorite brand. Let's go back to the app. So how do I ensure anything the user is selecting it should get inside this particular table which i have created this can be done by an event so let me first add a button and for this button i am going to name it as submit the moment user is going to hit on submit it's going to upload the data so submit let's go to the event create a rule and here if you scroll down you have an option here uh, create update entity record click on this click on this uh, area and type equals to symbol in this one we have to select the entity so first thing have we added the newly created entity no we haven't added so for that click on this drop down entity select the newly created table or the entity selection uh, of the brand and i'm going to click on add Okay, so the entity got added. Now let's go here. In the submit button event edit rule. I'm going to click here and going to select that entity. Minimize everything. So the new um, entity is user selection, right? I'm going to select it. So once you select, all the columns that is there will be shown so here we have created only one column so it is showing one column name fine now in this one i'll click on so equals to symbol whatever the user is selecting right that gets stored in that radio button value so i will scroll down um, in the page section okay go to the page section and look for the radio button just now you have added so this is the radio button so this one radio button dot selected value will contain the value whatever the user is going to select during the runtime so that runtime value will get uploaded to this particular column pretty simple now let's say you would like to set out some message as soon as the end the update is complete i would like to show a message to the user stating your brand name is saved something like that i want to show a message i don't need this 
and this has to be a success okay so let's see how this one is going to appear so this is the simple configuration we have made let's hit on preview there is some error on the app let's refresh it occurred while fetching entity data please try uh, try later or contact your admin so let's do one thing in such an error let me delete this and re-add the entity maybe I, I was in the edit mode and that is creating problem I'll go to the entity and uh, a selection of brand right selection of brand I will select that if this happens just simply refresh the page a couple of times okay now let me try selection of brand is there okay uh, selection of brand and fab brand okay this this is there okay so I, I think I was referring to a wrong uh, table so let me go there go to the submit button event edit rule this is deleted reference okay okay this was the older table okay I was referring to an older table so this is the error which has come no problem let's click on the equals to symbol equals to symbol and refer to the uh, newly created entity you remember I have deleted and then I have added that's why it is coming like this so let me minimize everything entities and I will go for the selection of brand okay selection of brand fine and the same thing we will repeat equals to um, the page radio button value and when created I want to show a message your when updated right your favorite option brand name is saved done so let's remove the message box and I will make it to a success and then I'm going to close it okay simple this one now let's hit on preview now if you see all these options are coming let's say I'm going to select something let's say I'm going to select Nokia and I'm going to hit on submit so what should happen the submit is done your favorite brand name is saved it is giving a message very good now let's go back to the entity and this is the selection of brand okay I'll go here click on the data and you can see the Nokia I have selected which has come over here getting it so let's say I'm going to select something else let's say Samsung submit okay your favorite brand name is saved now let's refresh the data okay Samsung so this Samsung has come getting it so this is how this entire designing can be achieved so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content